Hello and welcome to the How to Travel Vegan podcast. I'm your host, Tom Simak, and today we're exploring Glasgow, Scotland. Let me start off by saying Glasgow really took me aback by how vegan friendly it is. With over 250 restaurants and cafes registered online as having vegan options, you will not go hungry. I've narrowed it down to the top five in my opinion, but do not hesitate trying other places because this will turn into an hour long episode if I covered them all. And as a side note, each place I'll be covering today is 100% vegan. I'll start off with a really cool resource, glasgovegan.guide.com. They have blogs, a search function for vegan businesses by area, category, type of food, etc. A pretty cool thing to check out. Now, let's talk food. First up is Stereo, a live music cafe bar. They serve things like burgers, pizzas, platters, and salads. And it's tucked away in a cute alleyway. You'll feel like you're having a really local experience. Next up, for a lovely breakfast, check out Picnic, a cafe in the city centre serving up all the essentials. Sandwiches, wraps, potatoes, cakes, smoothies, juices and all. Open seven days a week, cute vibe and dog friendly. The one thing I'll add in here is because you can take away smoothies, juices, coffees and all that, please try your best to bring keep cups, even for the smoothies and juices, especially for the straws. Every little bit helps. And that's a really good rule of thumb whenever you're traveling. For those who don't yet have keep cups or straws, these types of things, I'll link in the bio some that I used that you can check out. Moving right along, we have another pub style restaurant. Well, you're in Scotland after all. The Flying Duck. It's a lo-fi diner that has a cool ambience, board games, and amazing nachos. With different events happening all the time, they'll definitely give you a unique experience every time you go. Now, I've got two dessert options for you, starting with Raunchy, a dessert and coffee shop that is super cute. Raw cakes, bars, lollipops, and also full-size cakes as well. They do have a small savory menu as well, but just scroll through their Instagram website. Everything looks amazing. Next up is something I've actually never seen before, so I'll give them 10 points for being different. It's called Loop and Scoop, which reminds me of that Kanye West song. But anyway, for those watching on YouTube right now, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say different. I mean, if I were to describe it, imagine scoops of ice cream in a cup and then a churro looped around the top looking like a bridge or something like that. These guys are the only exception in this episode that aren't fully vegan, but they have six ice cream flavors and two churro flavors. But that is all for the food portion of the episode. There are vegan events happening all around the UK, so check out veganeventsuk.co.uk to see what's happening. You could also go to meetup.com slash veganeventsscotland to mingle with the locals there. For activism you can head to facebook.com slash the earthlings experience Scotland. Or if you want to get involved with any particular organization, head to animalrightsuk.org and they have a huge list of organizations across the UK and their contact details so you can get in touch and get active in their causes. That is all for me today. If you're on YouTube, leave a like and comment your favorite place. Subscribe to more. And of course, you have my Instagram at how to travel vegan if you have any questions. Much love. Peace.